Let's say we have some custom filters that we created, like this balloon one and this chalk one that I showed how to create in a couple previous videos, and we want to be able to save them and reuse them in other Inkscape documents. There are actually two different ways to do this. First, we can put all of our custom filters into a single document like this, which we can save, and if we want to use one or more of the filters in a different document, we can select one object that uses each of the filters that we want and copy them. Then we can open up another document and paste the objects into the new document. Now if we open the filter editor by going to filters, filter editor, we can see that the custom filters themselves have also been copied over. And we can actually delete these objects now and the filters will remain in the document. So we can create a new object and apply one of the filters to it. However, doing it this way requires that we keep track of where our custom filter document is and we have to open it up every time we want to reuse one of the filters. It would be much more convenient if we could add our custom filters to the filters menu. Then we could easily access the filters from any document. So let's see how we can do this. First, I'll close out of the filter editor and this document, which brings me back to my original custom filters document. All right, so the filters located in the filters menu are actually all stored inside a single document that's included in the Inkscape installation. So to add our custom filters to the filters menu, we need to add the filters to Inkscape's filters document. To find this document, let's go to Edit, Preferences, choose System here, and the path we're looking for is located in the box labeled Inkscape Data. Now I actually have multiple versions of Inkscape installed on my computer, so I have a lot of extra characters in the path here. If you only have one version of Inkscape installed, yours likely just says Inkscape slash share. Anyway, to get to this folder easily, I'm going to copy the path, Close out of the Preferences dialog, go to File, Open, paste the path in the file name box, and click Open, which takes me to the folder. Now in here we want to go to the Inkscape folder, then into the Filters folder. And now we have a file here called filters.svg. This is the Inkscape document that contains all of the filters included in Inkscape. Before we make any changes to the file, it's a good idea to make a backup copy of it. Okay, now let's open up the filters file. We can leave all of this on the defaults and click OK. And for some reason, we might have to do it twice. All right, so the document appears to be empty, but if we open up the filter editor, we can see that it contains all of the filters from the filters menu. All right, so let's leave this document open. Let's switch back to the document with our custom filters. Now let's copy the objects again. Then go back to filters.svg. Let's paste the objects in here. If we show the filter editor again, we can see that our custom filters are now included at the top of the list. And now we're free to delete these objects. Okay, and to add the new filters to the filters menu, we first need to save this document by going to File, Save. Then we need to close out of Inkscape completely and open up a new document. If we go to the filters menu now, we have a new category here called Bundles, and inside it we have our custom filters. So now we can apply them to objects straight from the filters menu. Okay, so that's how we can save custom filters in Inkscape. Thanks for watching.